have a demo for you today on a new machine. I'm really excited about it. I really like it. Robert's sweating right now. So this is it. And I'm bailing. Well, I'm not going to do the grand one because I've got this laying on my plate. This is a Bernina Q16. It is a new model. It is a quilting machine. Right now, there's a couple of stand options. This one is really cool because if you prefer to stand and sew, you can raise this up to pretty high. Robert could even quilt with this. So, because he's okay. pretty tall. This is too high for me, I think. But it's stitch regulated. I've been having fun with it. So is this so, the quilt that you were talking about finishing yes. on one of the show, previous shows? It is the quilt that I was talking about finishing. I have to lower this because I can't, I can't stand. I don't have those kind of skills to like stand and talk and sew. <laughs> so this is actually super easy to lower, just a little bit more. So I've got my little spongy grippy things. And if you look- What are I mean, those called? <laughs> grip and stitch. <laughs> grip and stitch. I like them better than the gloves because my hands get, well, I have big hands for one, so finding gloves that fit is really hard. And then, you know, if by chance I broke a thread or needed to change a bobbin, you had to peel those off. These are just easier. So hang on to those. So you got to find your niche when you're sit down quilting then. You do. What do you like? I'm just doing this really easy swirl pattern. And when I learned something, I, was, I, like, I like documentaries. So I learned this thing. So they had this show and they were talking about, so they did an experiment and they did brain scans on people at the same time. So I don't know who volunteers for those. But, I don't either, but. <laughs> you know, it's bad enough that you gotta go to the dentist. You get a call the on the phone and, and you're like, oh yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> So anyway, they had somebody and they had them do this simple pro, um, thing on a piano and then they, you know, did an MRI of his brain or a scan of some kind to see what part of his mind was affected. And so then they had somebody else just sit down and close their eyes and imagine that they were doing the same thing. And guess what? Their brain had the same growth and made the same connections as the person that actually did it. So if you want to be a better quilter, close your eyes, sit down at your machine, and imagine that you're quilting and making these perfect circles. Ooh. And your brain will expand the same way as if you were doing it. Okay. How easy is that? Well, I'm on board. <laughs> you're next. You're... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be sitting here, guess my eyes who, closed, quilting. Guess who just volunteered for? Ooh, that's me. <laughs> that's them. I usually so, do volunteer for everything. You do. You're such a good sport. <laughs> so I've got this set. It, it actually is going to start sewing when I push the pedal. It's going to sew a little bit slow, but it's stitch regulated, so it's going to keep up with me as I move the fabric. And I might actually just turn it while I have it down here like this because I've got quite a bit already done. And I'm just working my way in a circle here doing circles, working in a circle. So is this a certain technique that you would? So this is a really easy pattern that anybody could learn how to do really quickly. And my advice would be, don't try to make your circles round, make them oblong, make them different sizes so that it looks intentional. We could say that my lack of skill in doing these looks like I planned it that way. Creative process. It is the creative process. And by the time you finish a small quilt like this doing one single pattern, you will have mastered it. So um, I don't have any rhyme or reason where I'm going with it, but I gotta find the pedal. There it is. And so you can see it's sewing slow. And then come back and then start a new circle. Stop for a second, and then come back out. I'm gonna go over here and do one. Who 
Who wants one? <laughs> Did you start she in the wants middle everything. When you that? I did start in the middle. And so one of the things I wanted to show you is when you have an intersection. So this is a lot of points coming together like this. So I am just planning to make a big circle here where I don't have to go over that point. So you can see this is a pretty easy pattern to do. So um, hopefully I'll have this done by the next time. All of this that I did, I did while we were just prepping for, well, everybody else was prepping for the show. I was sewing, so I don't feel bad about it either. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun. You can tell it's quiet. If you're interested in something like this, you can call us here at Quilters HQ. Or you can go to uh, call Windmill Sewing Center. The, they have this machine in both stores. Yeah. It's a lot You're of thinking fun. Thinking about a sit-down quilter. Yeah. It's an option. And um, the table does affect the price. There's a couple, there's actually three table options for this machine. Fold up. One is a fold up if space is an issue for you. It just kind of collapses down. One of them down. is a koala elevated cabinet. One of them is a koala and this is the horn cabinet that raises up. It is nice. It's got these little extender tables that come on it. It's got some drawers for cookie storage. <laughs> Hopefully next time we'll have that one finished. I might stay. <laughs> there you go. Dancing. There you go. That machine is a lot of fun. I was going, man, this is really relaxing. And then somebody, <laughs> yeah. somebody came along and said, hey, it's six o'clock. 